Alright, since the pandemic hit, there's been an uptick of YouTubers, streamers, and gamers in general, meaning there have been more people buying and building gaming PCs. Now, I know right now PC parts are scarce because of crypto miners and scalpers buying up all the supply from, you know, actual gamers and content creators. So I know a lot of you are holding out, but once you finally get your parts to build that magical RGB rainbow monster of a PC you got with your GTX 3080 in there, Here's 10 free PC programs to get you started on your content creation and gaming journey. If you're a crypto miner or a scrapper who sits outside a micro center all night so you could be the first one in line in the morning to buy up all the GPUs, you fucking suck. Alright, so at our number 10 pick we have OBS Studio slash OBS Streamlabs. So this is one a lot of you might already know about or use, but it's a free software that allows you to set up recording and streaming. Want to record a YouTube video or podcast? Want to start live streaming and set up all type of custom transitions and animations? Well, this is the software for you, and the UI is simple and easy to use. You can set up donation animations, sound clips, and transitions all at the click of a button. So I say for all beginners, if you're looking for a good software to start off your content creation career, I would start with OBS Studio or OBS Streamlab. And speaking of recording video games, we have at number 9, GeForce Experience and AMD Relive. Both of these softwares are perfect for optimizing the settings for your game's graphics as well as capture gameplay recordings for streaming or even YouTube videos. Whether you have an NVIDIA graphics card or an AMD graphics card, both of these softwares are perfect for getting the most out of your graphics card for games gaming and optimizing videos for video game crash and me personally i have two pcs one is an amd build and one has an nvidia's graphics card in it and both of these are perfect if you just want to get online hop in a game and record some clips if you want something quick where you can record your 360 no scopes and cod this would be the programs for you and moving on to the number eight pick we have patch my pc now this is one I wish I would have knew about when I built my first PC and I'm glad I used it on my second PC because it saves a lot of time and effort. So this one is perfect for someone setting up a new PC and just don't know what software to start downloading just yet. Now not everything in this tool is PC gaming or content creator related but you'll find plenty of good programs that you might end up using in the future. All the essentials you'll need to get up and running will be here and they have over 300 programs that they keep patched and up to date constantly. So if you have a new PC and want to get up and running in a hurry, Patch My PC is perfect for you. Speaking of all in one applications, at number 7 we have GOG Galaxy. Do you have the Epic Game Store, Steam, Battle.net, Xbox Game Pass and whatever all the launcher is out right now i mean it's a hundred of them by now and you're tired of managing all these different gaming libraries well this all-in-one launcher takes all your games from all the different play stores and puts them all into one app if you have games from the epic store steam xbox game pass and every other launcher out there it takes them all into one hub for ease of use you can even update and install games from different programs to this hub also. So if you're like me and you have a massive gaming library spread out through different launchers, this would be the perfect way to keep your gaming catalog organized. And at the number 6 spot we have Super F4. Now this one is probably going to have the shortest explanation because it's just that simple. And even though it's simple, it is quite useful. So have you ever had a game freeze on your PC and you're not able to close it out even using Control alt delete and you end up having to forcefully reboot the computer? But with this program, all you have to do is press Ctrl and F4 and it will force close any game you're on. No resetting the PC or force restarting it. On to the number 5 spot, we have Nexus Mod Manager or Vortex. So if you're new to PC gaming and you don't know how to go into game files and add line codes to add mods, this one is made perfect for you. Vortex is a simple and easy to use mod manager that allows you to import mods and basically enable and disable them at a click of a button without having to go into game files and change and add source code. All you have to do is find the mod you like, add it in, enable it, and you're good to go. And it's just as easy to disable and remove mods too. So if you play games like Skyrim, GTA, or Red Dead Redemption and want to add a little flavor to the game, this would be perfect for you. And moving on to the number 4 pick, we have Borderless Gaming. So this one is exactly what it sounds like. It takes all of your games without a full screen or borderless option, mainly older games and you know emulators, and makes them into proper full screen games. It's also worked perfect with multiple monitor setups because you can use your second screen without it dropping down the one that you're gaming on. It also has custom options to help fit every screen size, so if you like playing older games and want the full screen experience, this is a must have. And at the number 3 pick we have Discord. 
Now Discord can be downloaded or used in a browser but it's basically the go to way for team chat with several people because let's be honest in game chats in some games are garbage. So to bypass all the confusion just make a Discord group with your friends and voice chat that way. You can also stream gameplay to your server so your friends that aren't playing can watch you play too. And overall it's just universally voice chat done right. And moving on to the number 2 pick we have Launchbox. So I know I might get hate for this one from the purest crowd who's like emulators are illegal you should play the games legally and to that I say shut up just shut up so if you had a game you always wanted to play growing up but you never had the money to buy it here's a great way to emulate those games and relive the childhood you never got this program neatly organized your roms and emulators while allowing gamers to browse for games to play with ease and did i mention it also has controller support so this software is free to download but there's also a paid version with a little bit more features so keep that in mind when you're downloading it but as far as emulation software goes, this is probably the best one out there and it's damn sure better than that PS1 console that we got. You know, the PS1 mini that everybody's already forgotten about. And the number one pick and probably my most favorite software out of all of these is Joy Toki. So we know there's a lot of PC games that now have controller support built in, but what about the games that don't? Well, that's where Joy Toki comes into play. So this is one I'm glad I found because Joy Toki allows you to map keys from your keyboard to an Xbox or PS4 controller. Which is perfect because if a game doesn't have controller support or say it does have controller support and it doesn't let you change your button mapping, this will solve both of those problems. So me being primarily a console gamer, I found this one especially useful, especially if you prefer controller over mouse and keyboard. PC gaming community, don't kill me. I can see you right now in the comments with your torches and pitchforks saying, how dare you diss mouse and keyboard? Well, I like controller. Well, those are my 10 picks for free PC software that you need. If you have any more, list them down in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe and see you guys in the next video.